And uh, what? Yeah. Keep trying to put playing FF7, and then it just kind of my fingers just kind of go around touching every number for some reason. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, let's try this bit rate. I'm still testing my variable bit rates out. Okay, continue slot two. Uh, Cosmo area. So yeah, last time we left off at, at well, we didn't leave off at, we just left Co Coral Prison after finding out the truth behind Marlene, who her real father is, and why Barrett got his gun arm, and how that happened. And it was depressing, especially when Dine kills himself because he feels like he doesn't deserve to hold his daughter anymore. And you know what? Let's go with some more sad stories, right? With the best character theme in this game. Well, my favorite character theme. All the people like Ares is a lot. Um, Kate says it's like quirky. I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki? Alright, let me lower the volume. Welcome Cosmic Canyon, you filmed with this line? Yes I am. You lied. That's something that is not treated lightly here in Cosmic Canyon. Fine. No I don't. Even though I've beaten the game already. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Mmm. It's a full- it's full capacity at present, so I'm afraid I can't let you enter. Meh. To hunt me some when I was on the road, please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki. Please, come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Thanks for being accurate. Let's put Tifa in here. This part is temporary, so... Here's where I was. I mean, it was my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon in the planet. My brave mother fought and died here. But my cowardly father left her. I'm the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes. My father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. The journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home! Coming, Grandpa. I should never be a voice actor. Rest, rest, rest. I wanna rest. There, it's decided. <laughs> Do I need to read that? Tasty cocktails, pubs, starlet, fluffy beds, and children in. Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. Flash, flash, flash. Well, welcome. People just can't hate and compete. It's almost everything here, around because that's all, right? It's all that we can really use. Yeah, a lot of these weapons are really worth it. Okay, I'm not gonna. Uh, do I have that on him? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna use her too. Oh yeah. Two of these. Let's get a third one. All right. Even though I'm getting rid of the double uh, materia growth, it's it's okay. This is worth it. This is more important. Okay, poison cover, death blow. Uh, let's get him this, and let's steal, right? Let's give him enemy skill, just in case. Okay, so, oh right, nobody else in my party. Oh, there's another flyer. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually found one in the Shinra building when we went through it. That's why I went through the main entrance instead of uh, taking the quiet route. Because if you go through the main entrance, then you can see the flyer. But if you go through the quiet route, you don't see the flyer because it's only on the first floor. So you can forget what you get. Oh, right, you get one of every source if you complete this uh, side quest. It's really not. It can be worth it, but eh, I might as well do it. Uh, I, I was supposed to go upstairs. Uh, there you go. Oh man, this place looks like a real drag. The material sucks too. Uh, uh, 
for forgot uh, change. Uh, yeah, so I'm coming. Uh, here's shop. That's right. Um, that's so. Here's shop. Whoa! I'm sorry. You hardly ever get any customers, so oh, but I do have confidence in our material. Okay, let's see what material here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I need 8,000, 16,000, 22,000. Hi, balls. Oh, let's go up. I need 22,000 gil to get one of each. HP plus and MP plus, do what they say. Mystify? I forgot what that does. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredible. He knows everything. Ho oh, ho ho. I hear that you looked after Narnaki a bit. Narnaki is still a child, you say? Please stop, Grandfather. I'm 48. <laughs> Narnaki's tribe is incredible longevity. So she his 48 years would only be equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quite very deep. Still, he was an adult. Ouch, Grandfather. I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you in the village. Ho ho ho, no, Nariki. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city maker. You see there, haven't you? Well, it's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. It's time for you to put this plan to die. No one stands you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Ha ha ha. Maybe tomorrow, or a hundred years from now. But it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cry of the planet. That is disturbing to hear. What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. All this goes on. Planets are born and die. That is creepy. What was that? <laughs> that is Scrooge's planet. Don't you hear it? Is that to say, I hurt, I suffer. They've come here on a journey through the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ha ha ha! To save the planet! <laughs> but then again, I guess you wouldn't have to show him. Logan Hogan! Several odd peop odd looking people have come. That's me. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. <laughs> Cloud, please call it one of them. One three people frickin' can fit in the grandfather's machine. Um, I'm gonna try to get Ares. I think she's more of a canon choice, because she's an ancient, she hears the voices of the planet, the cries, and everything. But I honestly do not remember where she is. I can't got something going there. Okay, Kate Sith, no. I honestly rarely ever use Kate Sith. Hey, let's get another view here. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Feel the title chat, chart spot as soon as I can. Okay, let's see. I forgot where is Erez. You know what Barrett works too, actually. What? Oh, come on. Alright, Barrett works here too, I guess. I could've just talked to Kate Sith and do th did this. Seriously? I'm bad at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, stop, stop getting stuck in the foreground. Over here! Over here! The door's unlocked! Come on in! 
Come back to my sex dungeon. Ho <laughs> It looks like you have to them all together. Let's begin. Holy stand there. Nice grammar, the grandpa. This is a very cool scene, though. Very, very important. So pay attention. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm. It's pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Shit. My parents have a little trouble using a smartphone. He has a holographic system. Hey, a shooting star! Black hole. That is awesome. Wow, how wonderful. <laughs> it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. Not much everyone knows. What about their consciousness? Their hearts? Their souls? The soul returns. The soul too returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. That is some Buddhism level shit right there. That is, that is amazing. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, then divide. You can rush well called the life stream. Life stream. In other words, a path of the energy of the soul from the planet. Spare energy is a word that you'd never f should, that you'd never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then their time comes when they die, and once again they return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digress, but you'll understand better if you watch this. So make so pretty much electricity comes from the decomposed bodies of dead people. How's that for a wonderful thought? That's pretty cool. They're actually, it's cool how they're giving a visual representation instead of just text explaining. So yeah, I know nature dies, everything, people die. That green stuff is life stream, and look, it's creating new life. Oh, it spreads everywhere. Spare energy makes all things possible. Trees, birds, and humans. Not just living things, but spare energy makes it possible for plants to be planets. What happens if that spare energy were to disappear? That's why Avalanche exists. Just these, these are basics of the study of planet life. The, sp the spirit energy is lost. Our planet is destroyed. Ho oh, ho ho. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energies, spirit energy gets compressed into reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Thanks for the lesson, Grandpa. You should work for Greenpeace. No, not Greenpeace. Is it Greenpeace that's the environmental party thing? Not the political party, the, the insane party thing. The story of the planets and those who 